If you have been subscribed for a while, you know your girl loves her hauls. But I feel like this video is more beneficial than just that. Building a brand is so important when you have a business. You need to stand out. It's not even about, oh, this field is so, this industry is so saturated, I'm never gonna be known. Make yourself known. So for me, I'm the pink girl. I'm the crop top girl. It's just, it is what it is. I even have people in my suites call me Barbie and they don't even know my name. Was that my intention to be called Barbie, to become Barbie? No, but I'm known. That's what's important. So today I thought it would be fun to show you all the outfits I wore to the salon this week. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. You have to stand out. There is so many people in this world. There is so many people trying to make it. So make yourself known. First up, we have this little tennis skirt matching sets. Super pink, super Amanda. It's cute, it's comfy, it even comes with shorts. I love wearing things that not only are cute, but are comfy. I do massage all day long, which means I don't wanna be uncomfortable. I wanna feel comfy, I wanna feel like I can bend into my movements. So here is my first one. It's just like a little crop toppy sports bra, a little skirt. Very flowy, very soft. The material is very, very soft. And for my girlies, you can adjust the straps accordingly so you feel nice and covered, nice and tight. On to the next. I have this little collared crop top with these scrunchy shorts, again, very comfortable, but cute. If you haven't caught on by now, that's my goal, is to be comfy cute. <laughs> so this is a little less crop toppy considering it has the high waist. The shorts are not too short at all. It covers my butt. I feel like the collar gives a little more like professional, like I mean business. So I have this, it's a very comfortable very stretchy even after lunch you're still feeling good you could still wear your pants you could also wear this open unbuttoned with maybe like a little bandeau or shirt underneath i would recommend the shirt being though shorter than this because i feel like it looks i feel like it looks kind of weird when the the shirt is longer than the above shirt but up to you i personally wore it closed I think it's cute, I think it's a vibe. You can throw on some sandals, you can throw on some tennis shoes and you're all set to go. Next outfit, I do have jeans. This was my first time wearing jeans to the salon, but the other day, even though it's been extremely hot lately, we had a random rainy day. And so I took advantage of it, I wore jeans and I finally found jeans that I like. Like so many times I hear people say like, oh, jeans are comfy and I'm like, are you crazy though? Because jeans are not comfy. <laughs> but these are comfy, they fit my waist, but they're a little looser around the legs. So let's get into it. Another crop top. Before you all are like, why are you wearing crop tops to work? That is not professional. Yeah, maybe it's not. Also it's in my own business so I can do what I want. But aside from that, I, I snatch people. I make their tummy look nice. I make their body feel healthy. And so I feel like it kind of fits the vibe of my business. I literally take pictures of people's tummies. I work on their bodies. Like it just fits the vibe, okay? I think that's what it is, is there's no standard rule to what you should wear, how you should look. It's your business. You make that decision and just be mindful of the fact of what you're providing in your business, what your niche is, what all of that is, and dress accordingly. Build your brand but don't ever feel limited. I know in the very beginning of me starting my business, I felt like, oh, well, this isn't what a business owner would do. Or this isn't, oh, it's my business. I can do what I want and you can do what you want too. Just be smart with your choices, okay? So I have this little short sleeve crop top with these jeans. They fit my waist pretty well. The rest of the jeans, it's very loose. So it's very comfy. I can bend into my moves. I like them a lot, honestly. I just paired this with some tennis shoes and it was just like a, a casual comfy vibe. <laughs> Next up, this outfit, I know y'all are gonna be like, what in the world? And I know, like I really know. Like even one of my best friends at the salon was like, wow, you're bright today. And like, I, I don't know if she was saying that because I really was just bright or like, she didn't really like my outfit, so she was just like making a comment. I don't know, regardless, my point in that day was to stand out, and that is what I did. We have hot pink pants with a hot pink shirt, but they're not the same pink. And usually I'm weird when things are not the same shade, but it grabbed your attention, did it not? 
Do I not look like a highlighter? If I'm walking down the hall, you're gonna be like, who's that girl? Wow, her clothes are really bright. Hmm, what does she do? This is the vibe. It's some hot pink cargo pants with just a pink ribbed crop top, little pink ribbed tank top. And then I just wore a sports bra underneath to just kind of pull it together since I have little black accents throughout my pants. I paired this outfit with some Tims and like traditionally massage therapists do not show up in Timberlands, but like this girl does. I don't know. I just felt like the cargo pants was giving like, I don't know what it was giving, but it just made me feel like it was, it was appropriate to do it. So I did. All right. So I believe that I have two more outfits. I really don't know how this is going. Like, I'm really trying to share this with y'all. Usually when I try on clothes, I either have never tried them on before or I haven't tried them on in a very long time. So you're getting like my genuine reaction. And it's kind of hard to like react to these clothes when I just wore them. Also, the purpose of this video is not my reaction. It's just to let you know that you need to stand out and you need to create a name for yourself. So hopefully you're at least getting that from this video. Next up, I have something that is a little less pink, but it's pink because your girl's color is pink. I have this little kind of cropped, scrunched up tank top and these shorts. I love these shorts. They are so cozy. They kind of look like a skirt, but nope, they're shorts. It came with a matching little tan top, but I just love to pair this with it. It really gives Amanda because it's pink and I love cheetah print. I feel like the pink is neutral enough that it kind of pairs nicely with the tan. So I just have this, here's the back. Also something that I've noticed is even if it is a cold day, I get really hot when I'm massaging. So wearing tank tops, wearing shorts, wearing stuff like that really helps me because there has been times where I got so overheated that I literally had like a panic attack and yeah, not good. Had to excuse myself from my client, felt like I was gonna throw up, like not professional. So I figured drink lots of water and dress appropriately. <laughs> so lastly, I have one more outfit. It's a little white crop top. Did you guess? Did, did, did you think it was gonna be a crop top? Did you also think it was gonna be pink? Because if you did, you were correct. I have a little white crop top with some pink ribbed pants. So let me show you, let's get into it. Let me try it on. Like I said, I have this little white ribbed crop top. You can see it's like ribbed and then it matches my pants because they are also ribbed. This pink pant, these pink pants came with a pink shirt. It's more of like a tube top vibe and I'm really not trying to lose a boob while I'm massaging. So I thought it was safer to wear something with straps. But here it is. It's these ribbed pink pants, this ribbed little white tank top, a flare at the bottom. Again, just a very comfy, cute outfit. But again, finding what makes me stand out, what, what I'm building my brand around. So for example, if you come into my room, you're gonna see pink sheets, pink blanket, pink, Pink everything, that's the goal. And so I want to show that externally. I want to show that when you come to me, it's pink, it's a vibe. Oh, I wear pink, I represent that. You know, for so long, I was thinking like, oh, well, should I do this, should I do that? But if you take anything away from this video, it's to be yourself. Because what I'm learning is when you're yourself, people like you more because they actually get to know you. And so, yeah, I am that girl that will wear a crop top. And I am that girl that will wear way too much pink. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. So I say just be yourself, do you, and do what feels right to you. I mean, the whole beauty of having your own business is being able to make those decisions that you weren't able to make before. Yes, there's a lot more that goes into having your own business, but you have to play on the things that you actually have control over. Yes, you can go out and you can hustle and you can try to get all of these clients or all of these customers. And like, yes, that is a huge part of having a business. You need to hustle. You need to network. I'm actually going to make a, a video about networking because that is something that I have had to do since starting a business. You need to network. You need to get out there and you need to get out of your comfort zone. I am kind of shy in real life, to be honest with you. I mean, once I know you, like I'm very outgoing once I know you, but I'm pretty shy. And one of the biggest things that I, that I fear in life is rejection. 
and you're gonna get rejected a lot when having a business and you need to get comfortable with that and you need to realize that businesses do not have feelings and that's okay so i am gonna make a video about that because i do truly believe that your network is your net worth so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe but with that being said you know even when i'm going to events and networking i wear something that really stands out because i want people to remember me i want people to remember oh yeah i remember that girl that was wearing all pink what, what did she do again Oh yeah, the pink girl is the lymphatic girl. Like you need to make sure that you stand out in people's minds so they remember you. So many times I went to events and I thought I made a great impression and I never heard from these people again. It's so easy to be excited about something in the moment and the minute you go home, you forget about it. So make your mark, make them remember you, help them create a story in their head. For me personally, I always remember people's names because I make a story. And so if they can make that story about me, they're gonna remember me. Find what sticks out to you, find what resonates with you, what is collaborative with your business and just do it, just go for it. I just want you all to be successful in whatever you do. And I know I'm only seven months into my business. I don't know it all, but at least I can tell you as I learn along the way. And this is what I found has been successful for me is just standing out and being yourself, being your genuine self. People love you. Give them the opportunity to love the real you. And I promise you, you're gonna make it far. So until next time, bestie, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for all the support up until this point, And I will see you in my next video. Bye.